literally sat down to do this video and realized my lip was bleeding. I think I like ripped some dead skin off. So if you see blood trickling down my face during this video, that's why. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Hey guys, it's Adrian. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm so happy. I have not done one of these videos in so, so, so long. So please subscribe down below and click the bell so that you guys are notified every time I post a new video, which now is officially Wednesdays and Saturdays. I tried so hard to get on the schedule. It's very hard, but I'm really gonna try to stick to it this time. So like I said, haven't done one of these in a long time. This is my seven iPhone apps series. So today we are talking about seven iPhone apps that are great for fitness, weight loss, things like that. You guys have requested this video for a while, so I thought I'd bring it to you, especially because it's almost summer. It basically is summer, and some of you are already on summer break. So it's the perfect time to really like get that bikini bod you've always wanted, and right from the comfort of your home. When it comes to working out, I've honestly tried it all, and what I I know is that I want it to be quick, I want it to be relatively easy, and I do want to see results. I'm a lazy person when it comes to working out. I don't want it to take too much time out of my day. So I'm gonna be showing you guys some apps that are awesome for working out at home. Normally I don't push this, but you're gonna to wanna to follow me on Instagram right now because I'm gonna be posting a lot of my little workout cheat sheets on my Instagram stories that you can kind of screenshot and do those workouts at home if you want. Before we get into the video, leave me a comment down below letting me know where your favorite place to work out is, the gym, outside, or at your own house. I'm very curious because I've realized like I like working out at home in the gym. I really hate hate running outside, but I'm still trying to get in the flow of like what my favorite thing to do is. So I'm curious to hear from you guys and without further ado, let's get into it. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start out with the apps that are completely free, no catches, you don't have to pay any money, and then I will work my way into a couple that have certain options of things you can purchase to make your experience better, and overall they're still way cheaper than a gym membership. So we're gonna start there and yeah. So the first app is called 7 Minute Women, or it's something 7M Woman, Women, Women. So this is like my new favorite app right now. I love it because it's laid out very simply. You can just simply click on any one of these categories that you want to do. They're all really quick workouts between about 7 and 15 minutes. And not only that, but they show you like step by step how to do each of the workouts, which for me is really nice because sometimes it's hard to describe a workout. They'll be like left side leg lunge plank thing. And I'm like, what do you, what? <laughs> so they have a bunch of these different categories. I love that they have butt abs, things like that. And they vary in levels too, in terms of what your skill is right now and where you are at in your fitness journey. So for example, we will just click on seven minute sweat. So here it goes through all of the exercises that you're gonna do in this seven minute interval thing. So jumping jacks, high knee running, etc. So let's say you don't know what one is, you can click on it, squat thrust. It not only shows you a full video tutorial, but it gives you some text information as well. So you can really know what you're doing there. You can watch the video. That way you can become really familiar with these exercises before you start. And then once you're ready to start, you just click start. And of course there are a couple ads because it's free. But when you're ready to go, you just click, I'm ready. It gives you kind of a 10 second, like prepare for it to start thing, but we can't hear the sounds right now. So it basically counts for you like 30 seconds of jumping jacks and then it tells you what's next. And if you wanna just skip it, you can just skip it. I don't know why you would, but it only takes seven minutes. And I feel like doing interval training like this is not only really good for you and keeps your heart rate up, it's quick and easy. So that's one of my favorites right now. It's absolutely free. And I highly, highly recommend, again, there are like tons of different things you can do, but blaster, ooh, 15 minutes. It's like all butt exercises. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, you guys, seriously. So I highly recommend this app. The next app I figure I'll talk about right now because it's actually built, built. It's made by the same developers as that app is this butt workout app. So it's the same exact concept. It's all free but instead of kind of those other ones it gives you, these ones are just for butt. So it looks like, as you can see, like this has the same ones that are on that other app, but it is kind of cool to know that like, if you go onto the butt workout one, it's just for your butt. And who doesn't want a good butt this summer? Let's be real. The next app is called 30 Day Fitness. So this app again is completely free. And what this app does is it runs you through 30 day challenges. So you can pick whatever challenge you want. So they have different options for challenges. They have 30 days of abs, they have 30 day push up, squats, arms. Sorry, I just had to take a phone call. <laughs> 
but I'm back. So yeah, basically they have all of these 30 day challenges and how it works is if you click on one, let's say intermediate level one. So then these are all the days of the month. So let's just say you're obviously starting on day one. Then basically what you do is you click on this X when you're done with the exercises. So to kind of check off that you did it, or you push the I to like see what the exercises are. So 30 sit-ups and it kind of gives you this like demonstration. They also have video demonstrations if you need, but I think I know how to do a sit-up. And you do 30 of them and then when you're done, you click the X and then each of the green days is your rest. They also have these like random more information options like best recipes for fitness. They have like, wow, they have food recipes. That's awesome. They have weight charts. You can put like photos of your progress, like how your body looks. I really like this app. Like of course there are ads because again, it's free, but it's really worth it if you guys wanna do some 30 day challenges this summer, do three of them for the three months of the summer. Is that how many months there are? Yeah, and I'll do them with you. Let me know if you're gonna do any of them. So the next app I'm gonna talk about is actually not an app designed specifically for working out, but it is Pinterest, okay? Because Pinterest is one of my favorite apps to use when it comes to figuring out workouts that I wanna do. So basically I just love going to Pinterest and typing in, let's say I wanna do a butt workout but work out at home. So what Pinterest has a ton of are these little infographics. So basically if you click on one, it'll show you the different movements to do and it'll tell you how many sets of how many reps to do. So I just love to like screenshot these on my phone, take them to the gym or do them at home. So it tells you like three sets of 30 seconds and it demonstrates it so it's very, very easy for you to do and it's obviously free. And look at how many there are. There are so many and I just love this. This is definitely what I've been doing at the gym recently. I've been using these when I go to my little LA Fitness with Shelby and Janine. It's been good. So um, I have my favorite one on my Instagram stories right now. So go ahead and check that out. Follow me there if you want to screenshot some of those. I'll show you guys the ones that I've been doing to get this booty in shape and everything else. Yeah, I really, really recommend using Pinterest. It's absolutely free. And obviously you can also save things to boards. So I have have this fitness board that I like. Oh, there's my video. So the next app I'm gonna talk about is called Active, I think. This one, my friend Haley showed me. I actually just downloaded it. I haven't used it yet, but she preaches that it's like the best thing ever. This one, unfortunately, is a free 30 day trial. And then after that, I think it's $8.99 a month. So it does cost some money. But again, if you guys love it after the 30 day trial, $8.99 a month is way, way cheaper than a gym membership. Let's see, it's asking me what my fitness goal is. I would say reduce stress. My fitness level I usually exercise regularly but lately it's been a little more casual um where do you work out I'm gonna say at the gym it analyzes my responses and finds me some workouts and what I'm told about this app is that it gives you different workouts specifically to music so I obviously love using music when I work out and so these ones are made to like go to the beat so that it kind of motivates you and keeps you on track. So recommended for you, they have like, okay, low intensity training, they have yoga, beginner, beginner, whatever. Browse all categories. Let's say strength training, why not? Okay, oh, pop, dance, electronic. Okay, so let's just say the 17 minute ab one. So I'm gonna save this, save to favorites, even though I haven't done it yet, but you know, let's just try. Oh, okay. It took me a second to understand what was going on here because there was no sound when I was screen recording. What it does basically is you choose your workout and it tells you what to do. And then there's music playing, but there's also a trainer in your ear telling you what to do. So here's this trainer, Jessica, and she has different little workouts. We're gonna try the elliptical one. So basically if you click on it, you know you have to get on the elliptical. And then it kind of gives you a description. It tells you how long it's gonna be. Other than that, she just tells you what to do. So this one is to Cardi B, which we love some Cardi B. So basically when you push start workout. What's up, what's up? All right. So Here she's talking you. We're getting on that elliptical. It's an advanced short workout, about 15 minutes. We've got 15 sets of work in 15 minutes today. Incline is also at five. So she's telling you what to do. Okay, so basically the music playing and she's telling you like what incline to put it on, what speed to put it on, depending on the machine you're using. Okay, that actually is pretty cool. You're basically having a trainer in your ear for $8.99 a month. Definitely gonna try this. Definitely actually gonna try this. I believe my roommate when she says that she highly recommends. So the next app I'm gonna talk about is called Weight Loss Fitness. It looks like this. So this one is mostly focused on weight loss. So if you are trying to slim down, it is this six week great program that you guys can use. This one as well has a 30 day free trial and then it's actually $14.99 a month after that. So of course, like again, it's cheaper than 
and a gym workout, but it does require some payment. But I'm gonna show you guys anyway for those of you considering really getting on that summer grind. First, they are asking you just some basic questions about yourself. I would say I'm fairly athletic. What's my goal? Lose fat, get toned for sure. Tap on your problem area. They're all problem. <laughs> I'll just say button. Head. Set your training days. Monday through Friday, okay. Not doing multiple per day, no thank you. So then it basically creates a personal workout plan. So mine says 12 weeks, five per week, make it happen, okay. Here it says training day one, cardio seven minutes. If you click on the info button, it tells you what you're gonna do. Cross jacks, high knee running. So it's similar to the other one. I love how this app looks. And when you click on the thing, it shows you instructions and a video as well, which again, I loved. The only weird thing about it, I guess, is that it's only like a seven minute exercise per day. And also it looks a lot like that first app I talked about that was free. So I kind of feel like you don't need to pay for it, but let's see what it has that the other one doesn't have. It looks like this one is very focused on your weight progress. So it'll show you, oh, it'll show you your progress here. Oh, you can sync it to your health thing. Okay. You can make your workout schedule. It'll give you tips, things like that. It also motivates you by playing music. It'll remind you about your workouts. It'll also give you just some like motivational quotes for like health and fitness tips. So that's kind of cool. But overall, I mean, this is definitely one you can look into. It has more options than those first ones I was talking about, but it does cost money. So that's really up to you. You also have a trainer kind of telling you like what to do, but not in as much depth as the last app I talked about. Yeah, you have short, easy guided workouts and they customize a plan based on your needs. And it's also available in 10 languages, which is really cool. The next app I'm gonna talk about is called My Fitness Pal. So this one mostly has to do with diet and food, not so much the workouts, but you can track your workouts. So basically what you do is that every single day based on your weight and what your goal is in terms of how much weight you want to lose it'll tell you how many calories you should be consuming and then you can add like your food that you're having you can select a meal breakfast lunch dinner snacks you can actually scan the barcode of things that you eat which is really cool so if you just scan a barcode it'll tell you like what it is and how many calories it is per serving, things like that. So like yesterday, for example, I logged what my breakfast was and what my lunch was. I didn't actually log my dinner or snacks, oops. But if you look at the nutrients of everything I added, it kind of just tells you a huge breakdown of like all the foods that you ate and things like that. You can also track your water intake, your exercise, your weight, things like that. So you can just track your progress. It's just kind of like, if you're someone who wants to count calories or count what you eat, which I don't think anyone needs to count calories, I really don't think so. But if you just wanna become more aware of what you're putting in your body and really like how that's affecting maybe your weight, then it's really nice to just kind of have a place that you can put it. But you guys, seriously, like I don't recommend obsessing over food. I think you should eat when you're hungry. You should eat all the food. So this is just more for people who are trying to like cut back a little bit or just have a diet plan that is suitable for your needs if you're trying to lose weight. So I used to use this a lot. I've been a member of this app since like 2011. <laughs> and the last app that I'm gonna tell you guys about is called Mind Body. So this is an app that is, so this is an app that shows you guys fitness classes and health services, things like that, that are near you and what kind of deals you can get on them. So as you can see, there's fitness, wellness, and beauty. So let's say we click on wellness, if you need a massage, if you wanna meditate, things like that, physical therapy. If you click on it, it'll just show you like near your location where you can go to get certain things done. If you are a member of a gym, oftentimes they will have you book workout classes through this app. Today, near my location, there is a salsa dance class and it'll tell you how much they cost or if you have a membership there already, you can obviously just book it through this. So it's super nice to just kind of see everything here. So if you are someone looking for some fun workout classes or some other fitness related things, Mind Body has it all kind of in one app. So this isn't necessarily an app to do workouts from your phone, but this is just something that I have found very helpful in the past when I've been wanting to try new gyms or try new workout classes. I really liked using this. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys found these apps to be helpful. Let me know your favorites once you try them. I would really love to hear from you guys. I hope you get those bikini buds you've always wanted, but at the same time, you guys, don't stress out. Have fun. You are beautiful no matter what. You do not need to lose weight. I mean, exercising, honestly, is really good for your brain and your body, so you do need to exercise. But these were just my helpful tips. I am also gonna be trying to get my bikini bod back this summer. I'm gonna try to get in a lot of shape, not even so much for how I look, but really just for how I feel. I love how I feel after a good workout. It just makes me feel so revived and strong and just good. So I hope you guys like this. Give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.